Hello, family and friends. How are you doing? I hope your day, uh, or I hope your day is going well. I have an unboxing of the September cloth and paper Pinspiration and stationery box. I also have um, some, oh, someone is playing loud music. I hope y'all don't hear it. Um, I also have um, some stationary items that I ordered for my HP Mini. I needed to get some items and it will be the first time that I will use cloth and paper stationery in that Mini. I've only used um, Happy Planner stationery. So, but we'll get to that. Um, they both arrived at the same time. So, it was good. So, let me go ahead and take this out of the box. Let's see it there. I'm gonna try not to make it so long. Um, I just love getting these little canvas bags. They are so neat. Perfect to have um, to store stationary items that you're not using at the time. Or if you're gonna go to maybe like a meetup, meet with one of your planner friends, you can put your items in that and stick it inside your planner bag. So, yep. So, the first thing I, I do like to look at the um, what's inside. So there it is, I'll take it out. Something that Ashley is doing, uh, she's the owner by the way, if you have not heard of Quality Paper or not familiar with it or maybe you have and don't know all the deets on it. She does a happy planner, and happy planner, she does a cloth and paper um, happy hour live every Thursday at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern. So, and she does it on um, Instagram and on YouTube. So, check those two platforms out on Thursdays if you have a chance. All right. So, um, I'm going to put to the side the, the stationary card. But inside the box, usually it's going to come some journaling cards. This is so cute right here. And what I love about this stationary box is that each month you can update customize your planner refresh it or if you want to keep the same items because you really like them then hey so be it this the pen test sheet i'll kind of play around with that when i open up the pens um this i like doing this using this in my planner you can just write the month that you're using it for put the dates in put your important dates it's a great way to use in your planning like if you already know so this is september so you may want to make it out for october i've done that go to the next month and put some um put the dates in and then put in my important dates or you know highlight them the blocks here so that i know when i get ready to do my planning for the next month what i'm looking at um oh yeah and the, it's on the back nothing's on the back Let's see, calendar, little tent card that you could put on your desk. There's a journaling card. I won't read that, y'all. But that's what it is. Definitely going to use that. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Love that. That is for sure going in my planner. Just, just go for it. Um... Let's see, this is another, another journaling card, step forward, and then there's some burbage there. Again, I won't be reading these. I'm not going to make this really lengthy. I'm going to try to not make it so lengthy. Um, this is a member access card. So what she's starting to do now, um, for those who subscribe to the box, she's going to create, she has videos uh, outline and exactly how to use the products so if there's something in here you're not sure how to use it or you need inspiration she's going to create uh, videos specifically for those who subscribe to the monthly subscription so if you're not subscribed and I, the link will be in the, in the description box you may want to consider subscribing because um, the tips that she give are awesome so it is so nice to now have this coming each month on how to use the products because sometimes it could be 
you know, I think I can use it, but I'm not really sure how to use that. So this is going to be really great. Now, a fun fact as I open this, um, I this is my first olive clip. <laughs> and it's like a metallic silver. So it's going to look really good in my in my box. I mean, not in my box, <laughs> in my planner. It's so pretty. Let me put it back on the card. So I will be definitely using that. There's some SWAT stickers. Um, so when I was in grad school working on my master's degree in nursing, I had to work on a SWOT analysis as part of my um, education, or part of my project, I should say. Me and these envelopes don't always get along. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. So let's see the colors. So SWAT stands for strength. Put it back on there. Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So you can use this as, again, specifically if you're working on a project. So you want it to identify, and usually going to put it in like a quadrant, or um, you can create how you want your SWOT analysis set up. Most times it's in a, in a quadrant, so S-W-O-T. And so this is, oh, and it does say it on there, okay? Strength, and I can't see, uh, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So this color is matcha. Again, I'm going to try to not make this lengthy. Verona. That's pretty, pretty, that Verona. Uh, a, a lot. Like, I guess, like coffee. A latte. <laughs> uh, so rest assured, there's, there's some inserts that's going to be centered around these um, stickers. And this is um, Bistretto. I will find out the exact pronunciation of these when I watch her video for, for this. Time block stickers. Oh my goodness. I, you know, this month, a couple of months ago, we got the, I think it would have been June. In the June um, subscription box, we had, um, let me just tear this. We had inserts for uh, monthly inserts, the different type of um, layouts. So for September, the layout is like an hourly. I'm not an hourly planner, but it, I love that that particular subscription box because you had an opportunity for the next several months to try out the different layouts. So it was good to see which layout you know would work best for me and. Um, in my planner so i would say i really would not work that best is probably my least favorite i am using it however this month because again it was in our box and i you know i want to use that i don't want to waste it but i think that these would go good with that hourly format because i'm more of a list maker than an hourly person so for some of those slots i can put um you know, like block off the time so, and I'm sure these can be used in any layout. You're creative. You can find a way to do that. So, this really dark color is Avant uh, Garde. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing these things right. So, y'all bear with me. This is frosted. So, like a clear frosted color. Platinum. It's like a silver platinum color. And chrome. Chrome and platinum almost look alike. Almost. Okay. I'll put this to the side. Oh. Um, let me go to the dashboards. Okay, this is one dashboard. Luxury that lasts. That is so pretty. Cheers to longevity and 
refinement. That picture screams refinement, doesn't it? So these are our inserts for this month. Scenario planning, I'm almost certain. This is where the SWAT stickers will come in. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Also, if you've never purchased any inserts in particular from cloth and paper, one thing I do love about it is that the very last sheet that kind of it outlines you know, describe what size the, the insert is and the the title or subject of it. So she'll put like an example of what you can use it for. So this is where are you where are you now? Where are you going? How will you get there? How will you know you have arrived? These are kind of questions that you could probably use during your goal planning. And so I would say definitely those SWAT stickers could definitely come in handy because when we're making our goals, we have opportunities, we have strength, we have weaknesses, and we have um, threats. So this would probably go well with that. I'm thinking, well, this is scenario planning. What was the other? This is priority matrix. Oh, so you know what? That's that's where those SWAT stickers are gonna go. So this would be great for like again goal planning. So I can see myself using this in the goal section of the planner that I'm creating. I, I'm still I wouldn't say that I'm not at planner piece, but I am working at it, y'all. It's it's a work in progress. And one thing about cloth and paper with these beautiful um they're beautiful products, you have unlimited opportunities okay so i'm gonna start on the back again because you know i'm not sure how i will use it but this will give um again an idea how to do it so let's see okay so maybe i should have started this way then what is important is seldom urgent and what is urgent is seldom important how true is that? And that's by Dwight Eisenhower. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so yeah, there's a major matrix. So in this box, it has urgent, not urgent, important, not important. So you kind of you can put them there. Again, now the stickers with the SWOT analysis, it is strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So I'm definitely going to be tuning in to Ashley to see how she's using it, um, the stickers in it. But for the purpose of this, this example, she has the task listed. So again, when you're doing projects or uh, you're working on something, be it work or home, whatever the case may be, these are the things that you need to get there. Now, of these things, you can prioritize them. This is what I'm getting from it. They're either going to be important or not important. That's interesting because if they're part of the task, wouldn't they all be important? You may be thinking, I am. But it depends on their importance at the time you're ready to start implementing. So that's what I'm going to get out of it. Again, I'm going to watch um, her video and see what she has on there. So Q1, Q. Okay, so you're going to break these down into to quarters. So quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. And again, you see how the example is. You can kind of uh, put those things or tasks or things that you need to get done. And then this one, quarter two, it kind of puts it down in a weekly point. So interesting. Stay tuned. I'm going to see how it is. I'm interested in using it. So not sure exactly how, but... Um, maybe once I get, watch that tutorial, I'll get it figured out. Now, on to this lovely notebook. And your girl loves notebooks, journals. Absolutely love them. And it's, um, a cardboard, but it's, you know, metallic, but... 
Look at that. We had a dashboard, the Fika dashboard. I don't have it in my planner. I took it out because, again, I love to change up. So, let's see. That's an interesting siding. Look at that. So, when you open it, you kind of separate. I'm What I got from the last Happy Hour Live is she also has a quarterly sub box and that's more lifestyle um where she kind of centered around things that she actually personally likes and she brings it to this box and she wants us and they come from small businesses and she shares them in that box so that maybe we could consider purchasing them if you, if you like them but you get Really, the the box, the esteem box, is absolutely wonderful. During the last Happy Hour Live, she mentioned there's something in that box in which this would be greatly paired with. So, I'm looking forward with that. This is just basically like a, um, a tax notebook. You can clearly see that because you can put your, you know, I like to bring them. Um, or, um, again, I, I mentioned earlier also I'm like a, a list maker. So I can put the things that I need to do and check off. I love checking off things. I love seeing my check marks. Really, really makes my day. So this is going to be absolutely great. All right. The next thing. And I'm going to try to go through this. Um as I can because I don't know where I am with the time on this again I'm trying to not make it too long all right so we have a mechanical pencil that's a clear barrel this has to be it 0 0.7 millimeters I'm just gonna put oh I love the way it writes Oh, I like this. I like this. Yeah, I don't write with pencils a lot, but I do like it. All right, the next one is the Campus Rollerball, but that's not what I have in here. I have this is a water based, water resistant pigment liner, and it is 0 0.2 millimeters it's a fine oh fine pen let me write my name i like it it didn't smear either okay this is the well i'll come back to that one okay this is the campus rollerball Oh, it's in blue. Ooh, and it's fine point too, y'all. Look. Didn't smear. I like, I like, I like. So this has to be the Zebra Bleen Gel Pen. And it's 0 0.5. Millimeters. It didn't smear. It didn't smear. Oh my goodness. And this is the pocket highlighter. And it's green. Look at it. Okay. Okay. I like all of these. I love all of their pens. This one, every single one, every single one of these writing utensils. I really like I think we're gonna start using them immediately like today all right so let's put them there the next thing oh look at this I got, a, I got another bag whoop, whoop, whoop. all right Oh, okay, so this is, so when you order, because I've only ordered inserts like one other time, and you get this little cute pocket uh, folder that, and I have one, 
in my half letter. So it's great to keep um, keep things in. And these are the freebies. I think this may be my invoice. And it is. Or my receipt, I should say. So, and I have this one already, I believe. So, there's some um, journaling cards. I'll put those to the side. And this is just something I ordered, again, because I need it. These stickers, um, the spotlight stickers, I just, I, I needed some and wanted some. So, I got the Nude and the Angora. And I will be definitely using them in the half letter and possibly in in the um, the mini as well. So I won't take those out. They're just highlighting and I'll use them to highlight a date or something on my calendar that I need to be mindful of. These are square flags and I have, and they're transparent. This is the Crip Creep. And the Angora. Now notice this. So this is Angora. This is Angora. But notice it's a little bit darker. The page flags or square flags. This definitely will be used in my half letter. But I think I can use them in the mini as well. And because here are the flags as well. And there are three. So... These will be used, again, to kind of highlight those things that are really um, important. I need them to stand out. And because I love stickers. Um, like, sticky notes. <laughs> I love them. So, this is the Horizontal Weekly. This is what I'm thinking the probability for 2024 in my half letter will is really looking promising the probability is high that i will use the horizontal weekly in my half letter as well so this is what it looks like in the mini you have a memo section which i can use as notes priorities and then next week and i just like to have the space to be able to write i can put like for for this day saturday i can put my task and then i can put um the most important item that i need to get done i mean it, it's just limitless i do like the this layout a lot so i haven't i, I haven't finalized it but this one is in the high running i wanted to see no it's not because you can do what you want with this how you feel all right y'all that is it. I hope I didn't take too long. Um, and that's my cloth and paper haul as well as my subscription for the month of September with the Pinspiration and Stationery. I hope that you like this video. Please click the like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. It would definitely help the channel. And I look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye, friends.